everyone. I'm Tom Dad, Lowell. Me. I am a Pin him. nerd. Uh, uh, you know me from nerd things like Dungeon Bastard or just being a nerd. Hi. Uh, this is a game that I hacked together uh, from a wonderful game that is free called Danger Patrol. You can go to dangerpatrol.com. Uh, it's designed by John Harper, who is a very talented man. Um, so if you like this game, uh, you will like Danger Patrol. Uh, to my right. Oh, hi, Neo Storm. Neo Storm. Uh, hi, uh, this is uh, Tracy King. I know Neo. Uh, I play video games every Thursday with sometimes Neo there. Called Tecosa Squad, mostly RPGs. I make horror films and horror web series. I like being bloody. What does that name mean? Tecosa Squad? Oh, okay. So, short story long, long story short. Uh, I wanted to call our show Taco Salad. And um, or Taco Squad, and I looked it up, and it turned out to be Octopus Salad Squad. Because Takosu <laughs> means octopus salad. <laughs> so I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't change it. <laughs> no. So we are the Octopus Salad Squad. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to add a little bit of radio silence when I play. <laughs> Just bring um, the mood way down. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hi, I am uh, Sean Graham, and I'm going to be playing an RPG game tonight for the first time. <laughs> I think this whole idea of RPG, tabletop RPGs, is silly. Um, <laughs> and all of these nerds You're are making me very uncomfortable. You've been blackmailed to be here. Yeah, I, <laughs> this is not being done by choice. We have yeah. horrible um, information on We'll you. see how it goes. You will get your Rush Limbaugh book back when this is done. <laughs> Uh, listen, listen, I will appreciate that, and then I can go back to my tea party activities. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a legit tea party with cozies. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, God, I'm not into politics. Oh, fuck <laughs> no. But I love a good Earl Grey. <laughs> I just love a good Earl Grey. <laughs> Earl Grey. Halt. Awkward pause. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's up? I'm Mace. You guys see me on here all the time, and I'm also on Twin Galaxies doing a horror show right after Tracy's over there. Yeah, we play scary games. I think it that way. To me. Um, hi. My name is Dom Zook. Uh, Neo starts as Mason. We can't hear Mason. Is that true? Is my mic out or am I just being very, very quiet? I mean, point the mic towards your face. I don't want it towards my face. It intimidates me. I don't want to. Is this better? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Is this better, Neo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's four in the morning. Who's watching? Oh, Neo. That's right. Neo. Oh, all these people who are chatting right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's watching these people? Here's the thing to keep in mind. It is now 7 a.m. East Coast yeah. time. Yeah. Those assholes are waking up. They can actually catch our show in real time yeah. for once. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Europeans are you. like, sorry. Are, okay. have been up for a long <laughs> time now. They've been yeah. up forever, Dom. Uh, I'm also I am very ready. awkward. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, Dom, yeah. our <laughs> resident gnome bartender and producer. Okay. Yeah, I uh, yeah I I I'm one of the people behind Saving Throw, uh, Saving Throw Show, um, and uh, uh, thank you for yeah I know which camera to look at, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> is, is it this one? Um, this the yeah, one. that's the one. There's um, no red light that comes on though. What is the no red light? Know. But how do I know so that's the one? <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, it's it's like 7 p.m. Australian time, so and 1 p.m. in the Eurozone. Yeah, we are reminded. Yeah. So you know, it's 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 time everywhere. How many Australians are in the chat right now? Yeah, raise your yeah. hand. Raise, raise your hand. Raise your, your Australian. Raise your chat if you're <laughs> Australian. <laughs> raise your chat if you're Australian. Tracy's like me. Why not? Tracy's yeah. yeah. like, yeah, it's seven o'clock for me. Yeah. Um. Well, yes. Nice. Is that Mark Cuban? Make sure to read the chat <laughs> back Kappa. to the. Uh, oh, okay. When yeah, you're read the chat back to everybody who's watching on the chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so because when you play this back on uh, on YouTube or something, mm -hmm. oh, so we have gotcha. context. It's a, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Well, yes. no. Funny. <laughs> Good. Good one. Oh, uh, I'm Adam Murray. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel, uh, and I animate uh, TV shows that you probably watched. Like what? Which ones? Uh, no. I don't think. No. 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 Smurfs. Bojack. Bojack Horseman. Bojack Horseman. Mm -hmm. uh, Horse. Mr. Pickles. I don't think I've. Bring uh, my nice. horse from the Pathfinder. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting sued. That we've been talking about. I brought it up. We're suing you. Get ready. Yeah. That's oh. why I'm here. Actually, oh, a I'm bunch ready. of this for you. He's here for your dice. Yeah. 
After you no. said I'm Dom Zook, I should just <laughs> yeah. You're getting served. <laughs> Here you go, and then I and just leave. The best fucking <laughs> serve ever. And now you have to play D and D for the next four hours. hours I just too. sit here and stare. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so just a reminder: why are we even playing today? Normally, we have uh, various uh, streaming activities throughout the week. Mm. Uh, Mace plays video games on what day? Thursdays at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we play D&D every other week on Fridays. And Amy is now streaming on... She's, she's, getting, she's getting there. Okay. Yeah. And Tyler so. streams on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. as well. Ah, very good. Yeah, Tyler and his son play video games together. It's adorable. Uh, how old is your son, Tyler? He's four. Four years old. You need to change old. the name of that show to Henry Set Up. There's a pause there. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't really know he Tyler. Is, yes. Yeah. He is... God. So you well, play a lot in, of Mortal Kombat. In Tyler's GTA. defense, I didn't know how old he was either. Yeah. Moobot. I love it. <laughs> I right. am blank. Playing um, blank. So why are we playing today? Today is not one of those days that we mentioned. Well, today we're doing a 24-hour live stream for Alzheimer, Alzheimer's Awareness. It's a tricky one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to it. So uh, it is a charity that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, if you donate, you have the chance to win prizes out of our prize pool. How can you do that? Well, we will put that link in the chat. Or you can listen to me say act.alz.org slash go to saving throw show. Yeah. Roll that around in your mind a little bit, and we'll put it in the chat. act.alz.org slash go to slash saving throw show you can donate we're trying to raise sixteen hundred dollars we're well underway this is our second game of our 24-hour marathon we are four hours in and we are glad you are joining us yeah. with that let us get to gaming shall we Woo. I feel like the Family Feud music should start right now. Da -da -da. Like, <laughs> da -da -da. Let's pose yeah. Yeah. oh my god ah. <laughs> Actually, I need some dramatic kind of music to go yeah. underneath this. Is this okay? Speaking of Family Feud, is this primarily going to be a guessing game? Because <laughs> that's what I prepared for. I did a lot of. You did a lot of research. You know, a lot of trivia. No, I didn't. But I did a lot of guessing at home <laughs> before. I wonder what it's going to be like tonight. Beach umbrellas. Yeah, 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 I did a, a lot of that. If you said to yourself, "I wonder what it's going to be like tonight," you said probably cool. That was a good guess. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. But I, I also hope. thought there was going to be a lot of guessing, so that's yeah. not happening. All right. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. The year is 1998. <laughs> <laughs> Our rogue planet hurdles between the Earth and the moon, unleashing cosmic destruction. 2,000 years later, a strange new world rises from the old, a world of savagery, super science, and sorcery. Amidst the chaos, one lone group of heroes stands against the forces of darkness. They are the Beastmasters of Yagamore. Yeah. Yagamore, a world of high adventure where lone wizards scour the ruins for rare bits of ancient technology and tyrannical despots carve petty kingdoms into the desolated wastes with steel fists and lasers. <laughs> a land where the last tribes of humanity struggle against ruthless lizardman slavers and attempt to battle back the encroaching hives of the insectoid Zin. Pockets of civilization dot the world like beacons of hope amid a dark wilderness of mutants, monsters, and alien raiders. Yagamore, where justice waits in the chamber of your plasma blaster, and Mercy rides a cyber rhino. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to it. So, uh, <laughs> as you can tell, this is a science fantasy post-apocalyptic, uh. shamelessly stolen from Thundar the Barbarian <laughs> style game. Um, so, with that, let us create characters. Hey, these Yay. characters come laminated. Oh. <laughs> Fancy. I had these props specifically made, not for today's game, but for... Uh, this kit. So um, the way this works is there's a variety of different roles, which are essentially your class. That's the thing you are best at. Everybody can try to do everything. Um, this is a very cooperative game. Um, so these are the various classes. Okay. Um, waste Walker, you are a ragged survivor. You've been from one end of the radium waste to the other, and you've seen it all. This is sort of like uh, what I would consider uh, a ranger. ranger type of character. Um, so, important thing is on the back, there's an action reference that tells you what 
ability or what actions are sort of associated with each of the different classes. Ninja. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Waste Walker, Waste Walker, like I said, like a like a ranger, tame a wild beast, endure extreme conditions, deal with alien cultures, give first aid, find your way through the alien jungle. That's the Waste Walker. Uh, the Skyrunner, danger is my middle name. You perform even better when your danger meter gets higher. Uh, so along the bottom there is a danger meter that uh, <laughs> helps keep track of just how perilous the situation has become. Uh, a Skyrunner is sort of like a daredevil. They run, jump, swing, and flip. They're your dexterity-based guy. Uh, they can jump off of things that are tall. They can draw fire to themselves uh, so that uh, attacks get drawn to you instead of someone else. They're good at esca escaping certain death and inspiring others with bold speeches. Uh, we will save this one for last. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's going to be fighting for it. Yeah. Right here. Um, oh, or that's, just gnome barbarian. that's not one of the things, is it? No, that's one of the other things. It just says clown. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> pop tart. Hey. Okay. Oh, weird. This one's shaped like a pop tart. Uh, <laughs> Cyber wizard. Uh, their awesome. ability is awesome. we can rebuild it. During, it. during an interlude, you can refresh three of your used abilities or distribute those refreshes amongst other players. That's one of their special abilities. Um, basically, a cyber wizard can reprogram a robot to do what you want it to do, build a quick gadget to solve a problem, defuse a ticking bomb, repair broken technology, remember useful facts, Persuade others with your logical thinking. Nope. So, Cyber Wizard. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, Red Ninja of Hellas. Well, oh it's a ninja. What else do I have to tell you? <laughs> it's a fucking ninja. <laughs> Ragemonger. The Ragemonger is your basic barbarian uh, character. Uh, they can go into a fighting frenzy. When you hurt your enemies, you are filled with a surge of energy. Uh, Rage Monger. These guys are your melee based type of guys. Uh, they're good at punching evil in the face, throwing bad guys off of high places, fighting with melee weapons, and intimidating people. That is the Rage Monger. Uh, next up, the Inquisitor of Gar. These are pseudo, well, not pseudo religious. These are <laughs> religious zealots who have investigative abilities. Uh, so a Inquisitor can find a useful clue, resist evil with their indomitable will, use their network of contacts to find information, notice details and sense danger, see through lies, get a confession. Oh, it's dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, <laughs> horde leader. A horde leader can... Where is the horde leader on here? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Is it... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. That's one of the, uh... That's not, that's not, yeah, that's, um, a horde leader is a different thing. All right, Hypate Centurion. These guys are weapon masters. These are your fighters who are good with ranged attack. So they're good at shooting enemies, uh, shooting people to keep them pinned down, throwing grenades, coming up with battle tactics, leading a team. They're your squad leader with a gun, basically. Yeah. Uh, beast master, what would a beast? Masters of Yagmore <laughs> game be without a beast master. There are no beast well, we, yeah, <laughs> It's just, just the name. I like yeah. there's no beast though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you can ride and what wrangle them out, like use trained beasts to spy, scout, fetch, deliver, and distract foes, swoop in and rescue someone from a dangerous spot, brag and impress people with your tall tales. That, that is a beast familiar. master. And then finally, uh, so the hidden history behind this game is that uh, I created this hack uh, so when I was courting my beloved, uh, also known as my wife, um, so it ew, she, <laughs> gross. Uh, she said I, we were talking about what kind of games she liked and whatnot. And she's like, I, I happened to mention, oh, you know, I ran this, uh, I ran this um, uh, Gamma World game, and she's like, oh, I love Gamma <laughs> World. I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's great. I'm like, well, well, you know, what other games do you like? She's like, oh, I love this game called Danger Patrol. I'm like, Danger Patrol, what's that? And she's like, oh, it's this fun game where you come up with all these crazy stunts and tricks and crazy things happen. I'm like, oh, you know, it'd be great is if I could mix these two things together. So, as like my present to her, I hacked this game together, and as an inside joke, we came up with our final character class known as the Misandrist. That's right. The Misandrist is a social justice warrior. Who, uh, I didn't think I even write down what all the powers were. You're basically, oh, you're just basically a jerk to men. Yeah. Yes, you have powers like quantum paradigm shift, 
cascading hyperbath of male tears, <laughs> raging, <laughs> raging fury of a thousand flame wars, and multi-flux ninth wave feminist dogma. So that's actually not a character class, that's a modifier on your character class. Yes, you can be a misandrous rage monger and punch <laughs> men in the face. Mm, good, yeah. Uh, yes. So those are your so basic we're all just going to play that one class. Yeah, right? Those are your Everyone's basic character play classes, play. and then there are modifiers. That's what these other cards are for. We'll explain that once you pick what your base. Can I see the wastewater class is going to be? Thanks. Can I claim Cyber Wizard since it's right in front of me, and I really just want to have a power glove? Mm, <laughs> yes. Sure. I, I don't. I yeah. I don't want Cyber Wizard. Personally. Please take a. You're, uh, you're handling the Inquisitor, do you? Are uh, you oh like no! The, uh, go ahead and be an Inquisitor. I, I, um, I don't want to play that two. That sounds paladins. a lot like the Squirrel Patrol at the end of Going Clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Scientology reference for anyone who didn't get it. Uh, Tracy <laughs> is going to be the Rage <laughs> Monger. Very good. Oh, nice. It's going to be a long yes, auditing session. <laughs> yeah. It's actually going to be yeah. a real long <laughs> auditing session. Yes. Mm. All right. Did so everybody. Oh, I'm having trouble. Okay. So there's the Beastmaster, yes. who obviously has like a, a pet, or I can yes, find a pet. Several. Mm -hmm. um, the tiger painted black. Uh, here's the only thing, though. I could also be Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. And I <laughs> wow, watched. The way you're handling that makes me think you've made up your mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like mm, all right, master, but I could. You could have been so. That is all great. No? Okay, like, so. Don't make it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. I would have this one. Yeah, I want to apologize in more. advance for the amount of saliva that gets on this. <laughs> That's why they're good. laminated. Yep. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> as I mentioned, uh, so each of these, each of these uh, base classes, then I, you, you attach a modifier to. So. Miss Andrist is one of them that's available. You can be a Miss Andrist rage monger or whatever you want, <laughs> if you so choose. Uh, horde leader is uh, is is essentially uh, somebody who can help mitigate a disaster and can also rally uh, his teammates to his cause and help them uh, overcome whatever horrible thing is happening. Uh, you can be a being who's made out of shadow. You haunt this world as a living shadow, oh, yeah. and wow, that's uh, really although cool. you're corporeal and can touch things, uh, you can float and pass through solid objects with an act of will. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we were all like, <laughs> yeah, I want to be. Uh, well, hang on, there's still more coolness to come. Uh, you can be a mutant, oh, that's um, awesome. and basically you get to make up a couple of your own abilities when you're a mutant. Why? Because mutants are kind of kooky. One of my, my favorites, super is Cyber Atomic, you have a cyborg body that is powered by a nuclear power plant. Welcome to it. <laughs> Bam. Awesome. Wait, full plants? In, well, I mean, it's the future, it's so... It's the future, it's only this true. big! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Arc reactor thing, I got you. Uh, yeah. Eldritch, you have made a pact with a dark entity, entity and can draw on sorceress magic therein. Uh, cerebro psionic is a fancy word for psionic, which means <laughs> you have mind powers. Cool. Um, and finally, you can choose to be a nano clone, which means you are actually made up of many tiny little nanite parts and are divisible into multiple different beings if you so choose. So those are the various um, I modifiers. I kind of want to be psionic. Traits on the is another way to describe them. Eldritch. Eldritch. I like Eldrick. Eldrick is, yeah. it's like a, just a guy. It sounds like a Viking name. <laughs> Eldrick. 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 Come I think that is it. A, isn't that a name? Eldrick? Nope. That's Elric. Elric. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. yeah, I'll leave that Close. there. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, You're I not like going cyber with Eldrick? I'll let everyone else pick and then I'll, I'll sift through the ruins. Nano clone seems cool. As a waste The walker. shadow one is badass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's a uh, nano clone? <laughs> hmm. What are you getting, Murray? I'm surprised you didn't immediately pick cyber atomic. I was thinking, but then I feel like that's just like so much cyber. Just that like is cyber. Yeah. Just like cyber. Yeah. It's, it's just like, cyber oh, we're doing it. Wait a minute. This is, is like the Beastmasters of Yagamore. Yeah, There's no such but thing. But it's just like, I'm a barbarian. I have axes for arms. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bardo axe arm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry. Was that your case against? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, that sounded like an argument for, but mutant would be cool. Uh... Yeah, those was, was like truckosaurus, the <laughs> monster truck that yeah. has like hammers yeah. for arms <laughs> or trucks for wheels. Well, that, oh, wait until you see Jurassic <laughs> World. For oh god, <laughs> that's what it was. Anyway, uh, all right. 
Tracy. Dom, did you pick something? Shadow. 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 Okay. She's shadow. the shadow rage monger. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> you two uh, go ahead and pick something. I'll, I'll search for what's left. Um, Ooh, the cerebro psionic skyrunner. Yeah. That's I'll, an interesting combination. Yep. Unless you want this. No. Okay. Good. I'll be cyber. Oh, the cyber atomic inquisitor of Gar. A Very nice good. misandrist. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> I will take Eldritch. All right, so let me uh, please, so please take a uh, dry erase pen. Let me point out something that is very clutch to this whole pen. situation. If you take the two pieces of your card, you will Turn see that there right. is a name on one yeah. side that should be on the left, and then it will say loincloth at the top of the other one. So you will have your trait and your uh, roll uh, uh, going left to right, okay? And if you are paying attention, then it actually forms like a coherent like whole altogether. So you'll have oh, yeah. all of the different rolls across the top when you stack them side by side. And then also you will have this area at the bottom. Uh, let's put this in the put this in our little pit here. <clears throat> Adam, so at the bottom, red bag. Yeah. At the bottom uh, is. Uh, can we see these, Tyler? Yeah. yeah. So across across yeah. the very bottom is your danger meter, and as that goes up, you refresh abilities. So every time you see a little uh, power bolt in there, uh, you will refresh one of your uh, abilities. Um, also, then you have your essentially your wound boxes. Okay. So if you take bash damage, um, you can mark off boxes there. If you take stunned, you can either take two stunned or be uh, kind of de debilitated. Same thing with injured, knocked out, and then vanquished. So vanquished is sort of like the end all worst, you know. You're not really dead, but you're <coughs> you're vanquished. Um, all right, so here's the way that this, here's the way character creation works. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, whatever your role is. Uh, so for instance, thank you. Uh, this is a beast master. In Beastmaster, take your little magic marker and write, or, or whatever your role is, put a d12 in that, okay? You've got a 12-sided die in whatever your main class ability is. Literally just put it right there. The higher, the better, obviously. So that one is a given. All right. Now, you also have a d10. So put pick something. Now, you may want to refer to the back of your... You know, I'll put the action reference sheet out here in the middle. <clears throat> um, that's the thing you're second best at. Uh. We're in the back of this one. Well, that's where the yeah, that's this where one. your re your reference is if you want to look at it. Okay. Oh. Right. So. Okay. Okay, once you have your D10 assigned, you have a D8. That's what you're third best in. Okay, I'm retarded. You have two, you have two D8. <laughs> Wait, sorry. where do I... Are you guys just picking? Yeah, yeah you, you, just, just, you, just, you can just pick whatever, you know, whatever rolls. The, the, these are the actions that are associated with them. Okay. So you put a D10 in, in, in your second best thing. You get two D8 to assign to... Oh, okay. Oh, so not two. just one, two. Okay. Not one, but two. But wait, there's more. Okay. Uh, five five spatulas. You get, you get three sixes <laughs> to assign. And then finally, you get a D4 in whatever you're worst at. All right. So how does this crazy system work? Oh, <laughs> big pile of dice. It's a Let's dice pool oh, game, everybody. <laughs> it just All starts right. growing somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do I do something in Beastmasters of Yagamore? Uh, that is our essential question at hand, right? So uh, I decide what I'm trying to do. Let's say that there is a uh, hover car filled with cyber apes that is escaping <laughs> As with there, the uh, secret nuclear formula to the cyber wizard's uh, latest uh, death ray creation, right? Yes. Um, so you might say, oh, okay, great. Uh, I'm the Cerebro Sky Runner. Mm -hmm. I want to 
uh, fire my grappling hook at the hover car, swing up there and plant a grenade in the grill of the of the of the I hover definitely car want to do all of and that. have it blow up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so since you're a Skyrunner, you get a D12 <clears throat> as part of your your dice pool. Okay. Since you're using your grappling hook, okay. <clears throat> you should have Magna a grappling grapple. hook. Yep. What you would then do is mark that off. You don't have to do it now, but right. you'd mark that off, and then you get a D10 as your next bonus die. Okay. okay. And if you wanted to use one of your powers, which you would then mark off, mm -hmm. uh, do those mark get marked off? I think you have to. I think you have to invoke something to to, to activate those. Anyway, we'll just mark them off. That's fine. Um, so then you would have a D8. That's your third bonus ability. Okay, that's that's as, that's essentially as much as you can get out of your bonus. Uh, well, you can get a D6 as well, if for whatever reason. All right. So at this point, I would say, all right, that's great, Sean. What's dangerous about what you're doing? Um, I could uh, I could catch the car, but then not make it onto the car and get run over or hit by the car. Wow, that sounds great. There's a die of danger. Awesome. Uh, what else is dangerous <laughs> about what you're doing? I'm planting a grenade on the car, so if I don't successfully get off of the car, I could blow up. You could you could blow your face off. Yeah, that sounds great. Perfect. <laughs> Terrific. All right, now that now we've kind of covered the basics, hey, everybody, what's dangerous about what Sean's doing? No seatbelt. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's not wearing a seatbelt. No, actually, my character is always wearing a seatbelt. I have one of those hipster belt buckles. <laughs> <laughs> it just clicks into itself. <laughs> right. The, the grappling hook could not uh, connect could, to yep. the car. Is that, how's that dangerous? It could always ricochet back at you. Uh, and then pull his face off. The car is haunted. <laughs> the car could be haunted. The car is haunted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, you could grapple one of the cyber apes and accidentally pull it down into your face. All right, great. Gotcha. Right. So that's your dice pool. You roll your dice pool now. Uh, anything that is a four or above is a success. Oh, nice. In the box. Oh, that's shit. A lot. Uh, he, he all but one, so yeah, yeah one, 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 two, three, four, five successes. Okay, five, six, wow, five successes. That is uh, fantastic. All right, so uh, yeah, that is, is a, that is a, a complete yeah. success. <laughs> Yahtzee. So you would essentially So I get do, the death ray back. Did you have any failures? I had one, one failure. You had one failure. So all right, I got so five out of six successes. So, okay, so, so we're going to subtract the failure from the... Uh, from your successes, so you got a total of four. four. Okay, so you would do four hits to um, to the car. All right, and then to me, that's like that's a pretty solid success. Yeah. You swing up there, you plant the grenade in the hood, ba boom, and the thing stalls down on the ground and crashes nice. onto the mesa below. However, you did take three uh, danger dice. Yeah. So that means that you mark these off. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when you cross one of these lightning bolts, you get to Oh, that's what it is. Each of you gets a freaking. I have to get a token out. <laughs> Each of you starts with a power token. Like this. No. I no. happen to have stuff no. for that. <laughs> Not a Reese's peanut butter cup. No. I feel like that's a power token. <laughs> if anything is a power token here. All right. It's gonna be chocolate. I have these fake coins. Chocolate peanut butter. Mm. There we go. Oh. I thought I had more. I actually found uh, something that I thought was an M&M &M in my house recently and, and ate it. Oh, well, no! Well, <laughs> totally not an M&M, &M, but it was a Skittle. Uh, okay. Well, I the thing is, the thing why is, is this rat poison so colorful? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't buy Skittles or m and so I'm like, what is this all about? It's the child that lives in your wall. Why did yeah. I decide to eat this thing that <laughs> I've never bought before? All right. Stick it in your mouth. So each of you starts with a power token. This is new. <laughs> Uh, every time that you cross one of the little lightning bolts, you get another power token. See. Okay. So in order to activate these powers over here, you have to spend a power token. You can also spend your token to boost your attack by a plus one hit. You can reduce a hit that you take by one and activate a power is what we just talked gotcha. about. <clears throat> All right. So, um, so every time that you cross over one of these, little lightning bolts, you get another one back. All right, sure. here's the thing. If you take any damage, whatever, wherever your danger meter is at, that's where you take, that's the level at which you take damage. So for instance, if my danger oh. meter is up here, when I take a hit, 
it's not just a scratch. I'm injured because what I've been doing is so strenuous and so dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about Sean. What's wrong? Like you're like, you have a phone. Oh, sorry. I, I, I do look like a, a, and you know what? I will have you know, I am, I bet okay. I'm just as good at him as be, at being a sociopath. So what do you <laughs> love about chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> Sell us. All right, so uh, just as an aside here, Sun Growler has uh, powered <laughs> up all the players, which means uh, everyone gets one reroll and everyone gets an extra power token. Yes. Nice. Oh. <coughs> so you. you start the game with two. Let me get my other one out here. Also, yeah. anyone who has watched Saving Throw in the past should know that I do not know anything about chemistry. <laughs> I I thought For shapes. <laughs> salt is yeah. salty. I thought that I thought <laughs> that H two O had four parts to it because <laughs> there's an H, then two things in the middle, <laughs> and then an O. I thought those were four no, separate it's two things. Two things that scientists just don't yeah, know. It's the mystery elements. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrogen. Yeah. Uh, Oxygen. Okay. It's just the, I mean, the after I spent after I spent like 15 seconds thinking about it, I was like, oh no, that's not how that works. <laughs> but it did take me a few seconds to realize that's not Ooh. how H2O works. <laughs> it's, it's just hydrogen, <laughs> oxygen <laughs> right. is what it is. It I just want a teacher to do that. Yeah. So you have the basic. You have your hydrogen. You have your then the oxygen here. <laughs> wait, wait. What was that little part? Oh, yeah, just the hydrogen. Go to the, go to the principal's oxygen. office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Attention. Get out of here, Greenberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <No>. so <laughs> that is the. Man. <laughs> is it still fun? I guess. It's John, your 90s looking. Man. <laughs> 90s looking. I, I do look like a lot of characters from 90s movies. I think. Oh I don't guess. look. I don't look like I belong in this era. I will no. agree with that. No. Um, or really, I don't look like I belong in, in any social situation. I think that's <laughs> probably what they're I, picking up. I wasn't going to say it, but... Yeah, yeah, I think that's what they're picking it's up. A little just a general uncomfortability with people. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Uncomfortability. There we go. Hydrogen yeah. oxygen and two open enchantment slots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where you put the uh, the, the, the final fan... Materia, yeah, the yeah. final fan. Oh, All right. So we put different... So everybody, <laughs> should, yeah. everybody should choose which weapon they use. Oh, ooh, uh, yeah. You get to pick one. Uh, Electro Whip, Force Axe, or Plasma Bow. Plasma Bow. <clears throat> I mean, well... Electro Whip is cool. Dude, dude, oh, there it is. Where's our checklist? Uh, I, I think I'll go with Plasma Bow as well. I'm go Electro Whip. Good. Someone's doing that. Okay, so it's very important to uh, oh name your character, and you should also pick what type of fur your loincloth is made out of. <laughs> uh, hmm. I got the fur down first. Can I put other for fur? Because I'm a wasteland we walker, so I don't really up? know yeah. what I'm wearing. Of course you get, this whole game is about Fuck making yeah. things up. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please man, please man don't face? make conventional choices. It makes for the a very face boring of men. game. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just tears. No. Money. Just it's made of liquid. It's oh. very fluid. There you go. Fluid Memphis? Man fluid Fluid Memphis. Memphis. Vampiric spider Renix. Vampiric are we, are spider, we still I like that. are we still on this? I am not a spider. Speider. Hmm. Uh, Speider. Um Thank you, Paleo I'm Gamer. That as name. <laughs> Shmoo. Thanks very much. I actually um <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome! What a nice thing. I'm from Peta, and I'm shutting you down. Woo! What's up? The only uh, the uh, I I'm worried that Paleo Gamer is not from our era. That's the only <laughs> concern I have. So like, I don't know how much traffic Paleo Gamer gets, but the traffic they do get could be very no. violent. Have a lot of like clubs. It's just a different like, diet. Oh, it's I have hacked this. into the future. <laughs> yeah. but. I still think I'm worried though about the history here. I'll go nerd cloth. I'm worried about the timeline actually, because if he's here, then what's who's taking keeping track of what's going on there? You know, modern gamer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so they just swapped. Yeah, modern gamer went to ships. paleo times. Paleo gamer came to modern times. Exactly. Oh, it's like your classic uh, swap movie. Yeah. You're, it's know. like Freaky Friday. Yeah. <laughs> That's really. They cool. both peed in the fountain. <laughs> That's that was an actual that movie, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, by Reynolds the way, movie. a oh, good yeah. movie. Like, I mean, really? it was pretty predictable, really? but yeah, that was a good movie. Really? Okay, yes. just, just to clarify the, the resolution thing, yes. it's it's the number of uh, it's the number of failures that increase your danger meter, not the number of danger dice that you take on. So it's cool to take on more danger dice, but you the lower 
the lower number of dice you take, of the higher the chance that you're going to yeah. have some fails. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, does this all make sense? Oh, I yeah. sure Absolutely not. Closely. Okay. I'll Somewhat figure it out as we not, go. But that's okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, anything that has a plus next to it yeah. is something that you can just expend and check off, and then we'll refresh in between scenes. Cool. Uh, anything that has a little O dot by it is something that you have to spend a power token power to, to do. All right, Choking so uh, the important thing at this point is that every episode of Beastmasters of Yagamore uh, begins and oh, ends on this. a cliffhanger. <laughs> so probably, uh, probably the we are going to... Mm -hmm. uh, you stand above a volcano. <laughs> we are going to establish... What the With title? vampiric spiders attacking us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the Renegade title of the, I don't know why my... Oh, it's because my... Oh, man. Kiganis is giving each player another power token. Nice! Yeah. You're making it too easy Fuck to get my players Kiganis. right out of the gate! If it, Shadows of the vampiric volcano spiders. Do not worry, Tom. I am going to take you, all of this extra help and turn it into garbage because ah. I'm bad at games. All right. <laughs> Uh, Adam, will you please roll a 20-sider for me? Yep. I don't know if there's any in that particular pile, so you might Nar but there is not. Shame on you. We only use 20-siders for the beginning of a... Oh, then I will just put mine away. Yep. All right. Just take your 20-sider and go home. Just take it. Stick it on my ass. 11. 11. Okay. The title of last episode was Prisoners. Uh, somebody, uh, can you roll a d12? Yes. Three. Against the, uh, I need another D, I'm gonna need several D20 rolls here. 20. Ooh, 20. Toxic. Avengers. Five. Uh, jungle. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, there's of the, somebody roll a 20-sider. This is turning into a Fred Olin Ray movie. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. Nuclear. Yeah, Fred Olin Ray movie. Twelve. Twelve. Battle Masters. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so the title of our last episode was Prisoners Against the Toxic Jungle of the Nuclear Battle Masters. Starring Reb Brown. <laughs> Starring all of you. Oh. oh. So, why don't we go around the table and tell me... What's the cliffhanger here that you your character was perilously in danger, left hanging perilously in danger oh, no. at the end of last episode? Where do we find our heroes as we begin this installment of Beastmasters of Yagamore? Who would like to start? Anyone? You, here's the great thing about Beastmasters of Yagamore. You get to completely make shit up. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you, uh, that doesn't fit with my worldview, blah, blah, blah. No, like, the, uh, go Gonzo, battle, go for something it. Battle the, sen the sentient dictator who's also a Venus flytrap, uh, named General Cortez. Uh, <laughs> wow. Is, is, is he our leader? No. Oh, no, okay. Just, is he the uh, He's just a sentient leader. He's a sentient, he's a sentient Venus flytrap who's mm -hmm. also a dictator. Uh, had us fighting against something in his battle pit for his amusement. The masters of his battles. Yeah, he, we basically we were we were fighting uh, three rabid giant pandas, um, <laughs> who uh, actually have wings uh, because they were actually grafted on later. Uh, they're they're mutant pandas. Did I not mention they were? Mutant no, pandas? no, that makes total sense. Yeah, I mean. they're, they're mutant pandas, and uh, so we're actually but in this battle pit there are trees because it's a jungle, uh, and so uh, we're actually trapped. On, uh, at the top of the trees, hoping that the pandas can't use their wings to fly up <laughs> and get us. The wings are too small. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, also their wings are tiny. Yeah, they're, they're, they're also. Really um, they are in fact size for a fly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, they're fly-sized <laughs> wings. Um, they're also. This is all. This is all taking place in a giant nuclear complex because they are nuclear battle masters. So the um, a as of last time, the clock uh, was actually counting down from the uh, uh, you know the self destruction. Oh, clock. nuclear meltdown! Yeah, that. nuclear meltdown. Yep. Right. Yeah, and there's no way we could just fly out because the air above it is just so toxic and poison. There's it, we, our, our ships would just disintegrate yeah. through clouds. And we were actually having a discussion with this dictator um, because this dictator actually invited us 
over uh, to discuss something, and we were actually slipped some kind of psychedelic um, toenail. Hey, episode one. Does. And, <laughs> um, and so while we're doing all of this, we're super fucked, <laughs> and like super. I don't want to say hi, but like we all think we can um, breathe underwater and fly. So. <laughs> While we're Who fighting stuff <laughs> and trees and these flying the pandas, we think we can actually fight them in the sky, but that, yeah, we don't know if looks. they can actually fly or not, but we can in our eyes. And our eyeballs are seeing like, you know, basically like the, the 80s uh, animated uh, like the, what, rock video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> so yeah. like that's how it appears through our eyes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right. Like they're all moving like hey, this. Hey, hey. <laughs> so. Welcome. You are in the treetops of the battle pit. You are. <laughs> you not have really a pit then. <laughs> well, well, it can be. Look, if you know, it's it's There's ringed by walls. walls up the <laughs> you, are, you are fighting uh, barely flying yes. rabid mutant pandas with bear. fly-sized flying, wings. Um, above you is a miasma of toxic poison clouds. <laughs> there is an impending nuclear meltdown. Um, this is all happening at the behest of General Cortez, the sentient Venus flytrap. I'm not sure how that's going to play into the scenario at this <laughs> point. Um, and you're all under the effect of psychedelic toenail haze delusions. <laughs> uh, it's not looking good for our heroes. Fortunately, whoever <laughs> dies first gets revived back to one hit point thanks to the Paleo Gamer. Oh, so nice. thank you oh. for contributing. Thank, thank you. you, Paleo Gamer. <clears throat> So thank uh, you so much, Paleo Gamer. <laughs> yes, I believe Paleo Gamer, we did get your uh, donation. Is that correct, Tyler? Yeah, we don't have one of those graphics that pops up and goes like, "You donated." Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. 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 So, thank you. But when thank we do get one, it's gonna be like the Microsoft. Uh, it's gonna Nailed be clipping uh, clipper, and, yeah. and it's gonna have that voice that you yeah, just I did. I see you made a donation. <laughs> All right. Are you sure you want to do that? So. <laughs> thank you for your money. I'm gonna put the impending nuclear uh, uh, meltdown as a four. Okay. You have four rounds before the impending nuclear meltdown oh. goes off. I feel like you're going to have to uh, defeat uh, at least the tree, you know, the, the arena a little bit, but definitely the pandas and possibly General Cortez before it goes off. So, uh, as we set the scene here, uh, you are battling in the treetops. The, the flying rabid mutant pandas are straining their tiny little fly-like wings, <laughs> oh, but they man. sink their huge spiked paws into <laughs> the... In, of course <laughs> you're fighting in bamboo, right? Yeah, you gotta be it's fighting. all bamboo. Yeah, it's as, so strong. So they, yeah. they climb yeah. to the top. In fact, they're just chewing. They're chewing into <laughs> the trees, and the trees are getting shorter and shorter. And <laughs> since <laughs> they can't <laughs> fly <laughs> up <laughs> to you, they just chomp <laughs> into them. <laughs> chomp. <laughs> Who would like to act first? There's no initiative here. Just pick something, do something. Let's make some magic happen. So I just want it to the nearest panda thing or tree that can smack a panda. I would like to use my pneumatic impact gloves and maybe crush some skulls. Hey folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh, 